Yo, okay. So I just had to sit down and come talk to y'all for a second. Yo, this is just like a soapbox. We need to respect our teachers more and uh, treat them better in the workplace. And I'm talking about especially like elementary school teachers, middle school teachers, and high school teachers. But I'm talking about faculty and staff, like <clears throat> the hiring people. Like this, like let's be real, because nobody wants to teach w- because the salaries are so low and we don't pay our teachers. We don't get the we don't always get the best teachers. Uh, and as a result of that, we get we don't always get the best uh, faculty and staff. And as a result of that, when you do finally get a good teacher or a good uh, s- person who wants to be a good teacher, when they finally show up and they finally arrive, they are met with so much hostility, animosity, and and then just shown how inadequate everyone else is at their job that it honestly just it it destroys them and it makes them leave the field or want to change the field. Um, You know, I I know too many professional teachers who are in that exact position right now. I got to turn down the volume because they're they're, I'm just I'm in a I'm in a group chat right now with some of them and they're just ranting right now about the same situation. And, uh, you know, I I feel bad. I feel terrible for them because like it's stuff that should not happen and it's all it's all negligence. It's all negligence, and it all comes from the fact that we don't put enough money into paying our teachers. We don't put enough money into education. Therefore, the schools don't have enough money to pay the teachers. Therefore, the you get lower quality people when you have lower quality salaries. Because let's be frank, the smarter people, the harder working people, the ones who actually care, they also live in a world where bills and loans and all this other stuff exists. So they need to pay for all that stuff they need to be able to live life but then they also have to mentally and physically take care of the the future's generation like the 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 next generation the future of the world the future of america because i'm talking about america right now specifically uh like they have to come in here and they have to mold and shape the minds and not only that let's be real a lot of y'all out here aren't parenting your kids and so when they get thrown into the school y'all treat school like a daycare so these teachers are not only having to try to teach these kids at an academic level, but now they have to come at them at a social level and at a mental level to actually get them to be even like subsequently a human being, like just even to be halfway there, to understand right and wrong, to understand nuance, to understand th- like things that are going on, stuff that you as a parent should have been teaching them or talking to them about, but you don't and you leave it up to the school or you don't even expect the school to do it. Honestly, you just leave it. Like, you just expect the kid to figure it out or never figure it out. Maybe you don't know it. I don't know. But the case may be terrible is breeding terrible, and we're leaving it all up to these teachers, and <clears throat> the good ones are not going to stay. We're, we're, we're no longer in a generation of people who see the need, no matter how strongly they feel about something, no matter how strongly they feel like they can impact people, they never f- that we do not feel the need to stay in a situation that is debilitating and that is demoralizing, depressive in nature, and honestly not respect not respecting of its uh, employees. It, it's just insane, and because of that, will in turn get worse and worse off kids. Kids who are raised with poor education, kids who are raised by people who don't care, kids who are raised into a world that's already kind of not like it's set up not only against them but it's set up to not be easy like once again we we live in a world that deals heavily with taxes and finance and money and you don't learn anything about it for all 12 years of your education going until you get to college and then you only learn about in college if you choose to major in something like finance or business what is that like why do we do things like that why don't we have a class on credit? Why don't like why aren't we learning these things when you're like legal age to actually start having some? So like I think it's like twelve or something. Like why is that not in the core curriculum? Why are why is actually educating people not the agenda here? And why is actually employing suitable uh, employees and teachers and then keeping them and keeping them happy so they can stay not a priority? I. It, just doesn't make sense to me. I don't know.
this is just like a five minute little soapbox that I had to get on because I, I feel real bad and I have family members who have been teachers for years. Some retired, some are some are still. I have friends, I have, you know, old classmates, new classmates from the from college, old classmates from high school, like all that type of stuff, all those type of people who are teachers now, professionally. And yeah, it's just crazy to see. I, I know a lot of them have left, are leaving, or are planning to leave in the next couple of years. And that is so bad and a disappointment for <clears throat> not only, not the school, oh, the school is missing out on a good employee. No, the kids. The kids are missing out on being taught by actually smart people who care about their future. And that's the problem. So, yeah. All right. That's just me getting on my soapbox today. I just wanted to upload that video for you guys. I uh, hope you all have a good one. Make sure you guys check out the channel. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe down below. Uh, please let me know if you guys like this type of stuff. I mean, I'm going to be doing this type of stuff all the time. I I'm, I get on my soapbox every now and then. Um, also, uh, make sure you check out www.beanboo.com if you guys want to get any amazing, beautiful designer clothes done by uh, Beanboo staff here, which is So and I. And or if you want to collaborate with Beanboo on an artistry level, uh, make sure you email us at beanboo.tv at gmail.com. Uh, also, check out beanboo.com for any of uh, anything else that we do. I'm talking about if you want to check out Chris Kim's music, if you want to check out music videos, if you want to check out production quality, if you want to check out photography work, if you want to check out anything or need anything from Beanboo as a creative service, check out beanboo.com. All right, guys, that's all you need today. That's all you need to hear. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.